Hey Greatness, I'm going to show you one of the most powerful techniques when it comes to the Law of Attraction and I actually learned this from another YouTube channel and it actually integrates a lot of Neville Goddard's teaching all into one, it actually implements three of Neville Goddard's teachings and it will profoundly shift your reality and how you feel about your goals, your dreams and desires and help you step into that reality completely and holistically in a way where you just know and feel like it's going to happen. So I can't wait to share this with you, let's get started. So this technique actually implements three of Neville Goddard's teaching and those teachings are living in the end you may have heard of that when you need to live in the end um, make it real so you've got to feel it as if it's real and actually happening right now and then also the feeling is the secret where you're applying emotion to what it is that you want and that's what really creates your reality is not your thinking so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to apply all of these particular secrets or techniques together into one system I actually learned from another YouTuber I'll leave her link in the description so the channel that I learned this from is a channel called Brown and Bendy and basically she has a technique called living in the last 10 minutes so here's what I want you to do right now and try this out okay I want you to imagine that goal that dream that desire that person that you want in your life, the money, the success, whatever it is, just think of one thing that you want to create in your life, right? Just really think of that thing right now and what it is, okay? And what I want you to do is live in the end of that for a second, okay? So you're living as if you've already achieved it. So just feel what that feels like a sec. And this is what most teaching teaches to do is like, you know, you go visualize this outcome and things like this. But what I want you to do is I want you to imagine right now that what you just experienced happened 10 minutes ago. So I want you to imagine it happened 10 minutes ago and it's already happened. You've already got the person, you've already got the money, the success. It's already happened 10 minutes ago, meaning it feels like as right now, as you're watching this video, it happened to you 10 minutes ago, as if it's already happened. So just to reiterate, you imagine that end goal, the target of what it is that you want. And as you imagine this target of whatever it is that you want, I want you to imagine right now as if it happened 10 minutes ago and just feel what it feels like. Feel the celebration, feel the love, the care, the, the feeling whole and complete, feeling powerful, feeling like celebrating, um, feeling excited, feeling grounded, whatever feeling it is. And just imagine oh, that, that happened 10 minutes ago and you've already experienced it and you're like 10 minutes ahead in time right now. So just imagine that and comment below how this feels to you. It feels really good, right? It feels good to know that's already happened. It's not like you're imagining something in the future. You're imagining something as if it's happening now and it's already happened, it's now in the past. And this technique is actually similar to a technique by Kyle C's. And basically he has this technique called remember when. So remember when we traveled on holiday, we had amazing fun. And these are imaginary, right? This hasn't actually happened. So you're imagining as if it's already happened and as if you've already done it and get in the feeling place of it. So remember when we you know, created that million dollar business and we was able to travel all over the world and we was able to meet amazing people and all this stuff. So you're visualizing, you're talking it out loud and you're doing it as if you're sort of reminding your memory or creating new memories within your mind that hasn't happened, but you're seeing it as real. This is very powerful. So here's what living in the last 10 minutes technique actually does. It actually, in terms of NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, is it's actually distorting your memory. It's actually literally reprogramming yourself. That's why this technique is so freaking powerful because you're thinking in the last 10 minutes, what really happened to you in the last 10 minutes? Maybe you was like shopping or maybe you was eating or maybe you was, you know, on YouTube or whatever it is. And you're actually implying now that instead, no, you achieved your goal. And so you're distorting memory, you're distorting time. And this is just extremely powerful because when I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, this is kind of what I do um, when it comes to healing trauma, very bad pains, things of the past that people are struggling to let go of. I distort and disrupt the memory because that's all trauma is, is a memory which is stored in the body, in the mind, in the, in the subconscious mind. And so when you distort it, when you look at it in a different way, it starts to make you see your present reality and your future reality a lot different. So that's the first reason why this technique is really powerful. Number two, this technique 
it allows you to live in the end because you're living in the last 10 minutes. Like you, you experienced it already. You're already living in the end and you're sort of past the end. Not only that, it feels real to you. So comment below if it feels real because that's the key here. You want it to feel real. When it's something in the future and you're visualizing it in the future, it feels like a little bit distant, not quite right. This feels like it's happening right now and you already experienced it. The third thing I wanna share with you here is you can actually use your external reality to trigger you into this living in the last 10 minute technique. And what I mean by that, for example, if your you know bank account is not how you like it to be and you're logging in or there's a bill that comes through, then live in the last 10 minutes. Go back to that visualization of living in the last 10 minutes and feel the emotion. And imagine you're living in the last 10 minutes, you got that check and no, it's a $10,000 check or it's, it's not a bill, it's checks coming in the mail or it's, you know, you just want to distort these memories um, of your current reality. So you use your current reality, which is not, <laughs> this is kind of uh, a little bit weird, but like external reality is actually the past. It sounds strange, but it is the past because it's a manifestation of your old thoughts, beliefs, and actions. And so, so what you have to begin doing is distorting your external reality, using it as a tool to facilitate shifting what you're experiencing. And so you distort the memory, live in the last 10 minutes, what you would like it and prefer it to be like, and now you're creating a new reality every single day, consistently. Every time you see something you don't like, or it doesn't agree with you, or it's putting you in a low vibration, or whatever it is, live in the last 10 minutes change that oh this happened instead that happened instead and what you will see is your external reality will begin to change around you and by the way if you're a practitioner and you do some sort of reiki or eft or energy healing you do it neuro-linguistic programming hypnosis you're some sort of practitioner and you're struggling to get the cells and make it your dream life and do it full time then we actually offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and that will be right here and you can go ahead and check that out also check out my last video on how how to maintain a high vibrational state. And remember to keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding, and I'll speak to you soon. Peace.